Give yeah. me a treat. Give me a treat. That good. Now just um, put a treat sort of anywhere on the couch to make him get up. So he has to go get it. Good. And just let's wait and see if he'll come back and lie down in front of you. Just kind of look at the um, blanket while you wait. Give him a treat yeah. for that. Okay. Same thing, put a, blank, a treat on a blanket anywhere to make him get up. Same thing, just wait. Yes. So what you'll do to add the verbal cue is you're going to say it as he's doing the behavior. So the really important thing with verbal stuff, there's two, two things to be aware of with verbal stuff. One is if whatever he's doing when you say that word is more than likely you run the risk of him associating that action with that word. So the classic thing is the dog is running around the backyard and the family's saying, come, Rover, come, come, and he's learning, right. come means run around the backyard. So put yeah. a treat um, away to make him get up. And then as he's laying down, you're gonna say down. And then when his elbows hit the blanket, you will say yes and do a treat just like you've been doing. Down, yes. Good, Julia, well, with just offering the behavior rather than us luring to it. I would probably recommend you mostly do that one. If I was there, I would just try to lure it myself and figure out what exact motions we need to do to get him to do the behavior. But yeah, yes, that's the downside yeah. of, of online sessions. I will say that's how, when I first got him, that's how I did, that's how we got anything out of him was just labeling what he was doing. Like yeah. we labeled his sit, we labeled his dance, you know. Right, right. And then, you know, we never know when we're, when we're facing training challenges like this and the dog isn't doing what we would anticipate or expect him to do, um, we have to, as I'm sure you're totally aware in your field, like you can't get so tunnel vision on the behavior that you don't step back and say, okay, why is this not yeah. working the way it's supposed to be working? Is there pain somewhere? Does he have a thing about people being in his space? Process where we're just capturing it. He's doing it pretty much naturally and we're just guessing and feeding for that. What I would do is um, probably one or two more sessions, just like we just did, where you're kneeling by the couch, the blanket is out, and you're just waiting for him to do the behavior while you look at the blanket. When he quickly gets up for the reset treat and then comes back and lies down pretty quickly, then you can go to the next step. And I would probably work on having you stand as the next step. Because ultimately what we want is you're standing there, he's wherever he is, you say down and he lies down, right? So this is like a quote unquote finished hand touch. So we're just in the backyard, she's running away. I call her name, I put my hand out, she runs and she touches my hand with her nose. Well, cue. And if you're going to add the verbal cue with luring, the mantra is new cue followed by old cue. So um, if this is his signal to dance, what you would do is you got him to where he'll consistently do it without food in your hand, just off the hand signal. So then you'll say dance and count to two and then give the visual signal. So he's okay. hearing this word that he doesn't really understand what it means. And then he sees you show him what it is that you're wanting without food in your hand. And then he starts to figure out, oh, that weird sound coming out of a mouth always predicts that thing I know. And so then he'll start to do it just on a verbal instead of on the hand signal. Make sense? Uh -huh. Okay.